Uh, just briefly going to go over uh, an issue that some customers may have when attempting to access uh, a DVR from a remote location. Um, depending on your ISP and the package that you have, um, you, you may have a dynamic or a static IP address. And IP addresses fall under those two categories, dynamic and static. If you have a dynamic IP address, your IP address will actually change periodically. And this can cause a problem when attempting to, to connect remotely. Because if you try to connect remotely and the IP address has changed since your last attempt, you won't be able to connect to your DVR because you're actually using, at that point, the wrong IP address. Uh, if you have a dynamic IP address, uh, you, can use, uh, you can use a service, an online service, one that one that we recommend is a is a website. It's it's noip.com. It's actually no-ip.com, or a similar service um, to create a virtual IP address that updates dynamically and redirects to your DVR server whenever its IP address changes. Uh, if you're if you're not sure as to whether or not you have a static or dynamic IP address, contact your internet service provider. In, in most cases, unless you've specifically requested to pay an additional fee for a static IP address that does not change, you probably have a dynamic IP address. Um, now, customers with static IP addresses don't need to use a redirection service because their, their, their IP, your, your IP address stays the same. Um, but it's something to keep in mind because from time to time, you know, we will have customers call in and say that they, they can no longer access their DVR. And we'll have them go to the DVR and go to whatsmyip.org and they'll see that a different IP address is showing up. It's because they have a dynamic IP address and because maybe they rebooted their computer or there was a power outage or just IP, different ISPs will reassign an IP address for different reasons but it, it will it will change periodically if you have a dynamic IP address so uh, a service like no dash IP uh, dot com it's they'll they'll give you a URL and you can always use that URL and it will it will update um, it will always redirect you to your DVR even when that IP address changes so just something to keep in mind if you ever run into problems accessing your DVR um, this is a service you may want to take advantage of.